You can bet your bottom dollar. Great programming coming up next on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Stand by. Hold on. Talk at its finest, coming up next on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. In about two minutes, stand by. guys are talking about stand by a great show coming up next on the Stewart media and entertainment network in about 30 seconds stand by don't go away stop 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 If they're talking about it at the barbershop, we're talking about it here on SME. Great show coming up in about 30 seconds. Don't go away. Stand by. It's time. Sit back, relax, and enjoy another great product on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Yeah! From this highland region of Kisi. A conscious Jubilee leadership once again visited the opposition strongholds of Kisi and Bungoma counties. In this town, the women walk side by side. I'm the law around here. All the boys that just play the damn thing, and it's gonna be undeniable, man. <laughs> undeniable, man. I, I'm knocking somebody the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You re, you re kicking it with Kiki C. Show, show, show. Kicking it with Kiki C. Show, show, show. This is a squad podcast. Yes, 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 yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of the Kicking It with Key C Show. Yes, it's a good day today. I'm feeling it today. And uh, it's one of those shows where I don't want to always be the old man, old school hater. But hey, something got to be done, man. I mean, people just got to speak out on it, man, until it changes. And that's what it is. It's got to be changed, man. It's 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 ridiculous, man. It's it's the the song structure, the culture, hip hop in general, is taking a downward spiral, and uh, we're gonna get into that. Uh, first thing, you know, we got a good full room. I want to give a shout out to everybody that has joined us thus far. So I'm going from the top down. I got my man Cedric Galloway who joined us. What up, said? I got DJ Nunu down from MCDE. She's in the building. I got my man J Fish, the microwave, microwave, X Squad affiliate with uh, his own show. 
cooking with the microwave show and also bottom to the top show uh i've got miss queen here in the building also mcde she does a show with dj nunu i've got uh who else i got in this piece going down the line here i got sluggo another x squad affiliate the hammer and uh my man that ninja in the piece He's Real Cast Ranger, found at realcastradio.com. He has this show, The Underground Railroad Show. Uh, let's make sure I covered everybody. And everybody else is still trickling in here. So, yeah. This topic, I shall say, is... <sighs> I get passionate about it. I'll say that first off. I got to slow down and, and choose my words carefully, man, because I'll just be rambling and running off. I'll be running out of bounds on it. So first, the first thing I want to do is I want to start. There was a clip this week that I heard from Team Backpack. I'm going to play it, let y'all uh, dissect it a little bit, and then we're going to jump in and uh, talk about it. Here it goes. So many new artists of our day don't even know the day hip-hop was born, 1973, or who the father of hip-hop is, DJ Cool Herc. Yet they want to change foundational things that makes hip-hop, hip-hop. One of the elements of hip-hop is MCing. That's what we're focusing on today. The rush and the feeling you get before you spit your hottest 16 in a cypher can't be compared to. Being on stage and people reacting to a punchline or a difficult multi-syllable rhyme that took you hours to think of makes you proud. Or rapping about a topic that has nothing to do with money and drugs shows your versatility. Yet there are artists like Lil Yachty and many others that wants to take that away from you. This is a hip-hop issue that needs to be addressed. Like I feel like, honestly, people need to just suck it up and understand that rap ain't the same no more. I don't have to spit a f- cold 16 no more. F- that sh- bro. If I want to make some turn, sh- bro, if I want to say, yeah, the whole track, and it turned up people because the beat turned, then f- it. I'm making a song yeah, called Yeah. Song. If you have no intentions to be the best at what you do, don't claim the title hip-hop artist. When you break away from the message and the hard work to become an MC, you are literally doing something else. It's not hip-hop. If you have an issue with taking time to perfect your craft, then you should be part of a different genre. Check out this clip with Cassidy. But you have, have this, this new wave of artists, you know, like let's just say like a Lil Yachty, mm-hmm. who he's not, he's not interested in creating bars and punchlines and stuff like that, some of which you don't even really understand what he's saying. To the artists that say that they don't focus on bars or lyrics, I feel as though they should be able to do music, but it shouldn't be considered rap or hip-hop. It should have its own category where the dudes that do that can compete with each other. But that type of music shouldn't be in the category with a dude like me that do the type of music I do because there's no comparison. It's like trying to compare hard rock with reggae music is like, how could you do that? Wow. It seems as though Cassidy understands our frustration. Let's go back to Yachty's interview. You don't necessarily have to do the same style Kendrick does. You don't have to do this. Like, you do what is authentic to you. As long as you're authentic to what you're making in your art, then I cannot knock you for making your art. Exactly, but don't knock it. You want to know why we knock it, little Yachty? Because with being a hip-hop artist comes the assumption that you are competent, proficient, and gifted at words. Some synonyms for artists is virtuoso, genius. Do you think you're a genius or are you writing a way that other mumble rappers before you have started? You can't hide behind the word art so no one can judge you. Many people are embarrassed that we have to claim you in the hip-hop community. There's probably a young rapper who thinks he can mumble his way to the industry thanks to you. Also, just because people disagree doesn't make them old. I'm 26. Is that too old for you? It's not the same, bro. Niggas is not doing spin moves on cardboard boxes no more. Whoa. Your lack of hip-hop knowledge is disturbing. Let me answer the same question that was asked to you, Lil Yachty. What can hip-hop do without? Hip-hop can do without young wannabe rappers with a small vocabulary who mumbles throughout his music and gets mad and calls people haters and old heads when someone addresses the foolishness. That's what hip-hop can do without. Now, Team Backpack, I want your thoughts. 
Do you think Little Yachty can compete against any of the artists from the Cyphers? <laughs> Leave your comments and let's talk. Don't forget to subscribe. My name's Brandon. My friends call me Beto. This is Mike Check. See you next time. Yeah, so y'all heard the madness, man. Y'all heard the madness there firsthand. You see what I'm saying? It's like, it's not just that the lyrics are bad and this dude, in essence, can't rap, but he disrespectful. He's disrespectful to the path laid down to, for him. Um, shout out to Thorny Switch, who's also joined us. Man, now, let's break this down. This dude here was disrespectful, saying, yo, and the niggas ain't spinning on, it, on cardboard boxes anymore. All right, first off, hip-hop. Like we said, and this is what he does is not hip hop. I mean, that's that, that's that's the breakdown. I mean, clear, it's clear that is no longer associated with the culture. But hip hop was breakdancing, graffiti, rapping, b boying, and, and 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 just being fresh. You know what I'm saying? That was the culture. Of course, that's how it started. Of course, it's metamorphosized and changed. And you know, element here too was lost. An element here trans, you know, trans uh, formed into something else. But the rapping element of it, the rapping element of it, has actually taken an absolute crazy turn. And I'm not gonna be jaded. I ain't jaded by the media and what's being put out here as the only representation of rap. Because like I've said many times, there are people out here who are still making good lyrics and still have representing the culture and still making worthy music. It's just that society and these record labels and these um, radio stations and what people are deeming to be hits or what they want to push to the forefront is what these artists are. And, it's in, in, and the genre is now called mumble rap <laughs> and i don't know if it was an official name for it but i mean you could tell you could tell uh it's absolutely astonishing to hear the thought process of these guys man when they come out it's like yo don't throw on no old school beat i don't want to hear no old school beat um you know all that kind of that type of craziness that they're spewing man there's a few of these guys out here man who it's unexplainable what they even what they're trying to do. What is what is what is the purpose of what they're doing? You know, I, I understand. Okay, have fun. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's have fun. You know what I'm saying? Maybe maybe that's their purpose. Because we didn't have a care when we rap back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Like I used to rap too, but at least my lyrics made sense and they try to convey some type of message. I don't care if the message is positive, negative, whatever. They message, they don't have a message. It's not conveying a damn thing. It has no purpose. It's just a flurry of words. Some of this shit is limericks. <laughs> you remember, if y'all ever studied poetry in English, some of this stuff is limericks. Um, I'm not even hating on, um, what's the dude's name? I mean, this, this is even worse than, because I wasn't a, a fan necessarily of folks like, um, um, damn. I can't even think of the name of, 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 my, of my group. Two, three dudes out of Georgia, man. I can't think of, man. But anyway, they, they, everybody pretty much, the Migos, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm not necessarily a fan of the Migos style, but everybody's biting the Migos. I'm not a fan of Future style, but everybody's biting Future. And I'm not even liking their style, so this watered down and, and, uh, um, uh, imitated versions of them. It's even worse, you know what I'm saying? And it just went to a downward spiral. Oh, it's even worse, man. It's, it's, I'm like, what's really going on? I got a bunch of little clips of different things that I've been uh, working with here.